good evening folks this is uh, Keronami thank you very much for tuning to my channel today and recently on July 26 two Muslims they went into a Roman Catholic Church and they found Father Jacques Hamel an 86 year old priest and he was saying mass in his church and they cut his throat so five days later Pope Francis, he was on his plane returning from Rome, returning to Rome from Krakow, Poland. And uh, one of the journalists asked him, he asked him this question. Catholics are a beaten shark, and not only in France, after the barbarous assassination of Father Jacques Hamel, as you know well, in his church while celebrating the Holy Mass. Four days ago, you here told us that all religions want peace. But this holy 86-year-old priest was clearly killed in the name of Islam. So, Holy Father, I have two brief questions. Why do you, when you speak of these violent events, always speak of terrorists, but never of Islam, never use the word Islam? What concrete initiatives can you advise or suggest in order to counteract Islamic violence? Thank you, Holiness. Then the Pope Francis responded. He said these words. I don't like to speak of Islamic violence because every day when I browse the newspapers, I see violence here in Italy. This one who has murdered his girlfriend, another who has murdered the mother-in-law, and these are baptized Catholics. There are violent Catholics. If I speak of Islamic violence, I must speak of Catholic violence. The Pope of the Roman Catholic. End quote. So this is very interesting, folks. The Pope does not want to talk about Islamic violence because what about all the violence Catholics did? What about this Catholic killing his girlfriend, this Catholic killing his friend? Sometimes they also go into history. What about all the uh, Spanish Inquisition that killed thousands of people? What about uh, the invasion of uh, Native Indians in uh, South America and Mexico? And there are some comparisons here. And listen carefully. Number one, yes. There was violence done in Catholic, Catholic Church. For example, imagine 500 years ago when Mexicans were living in fear, when Incans and uh, also Aztecs, they were living in fear. Oh, these Catholics are coming from Spain. They are going to terrorize our people. They are going to kill us. They are going to pillage us. They are going to take our lands. There was real Catholic terror 500 years ago. That's true. But you need to see the difference. What Catholics did to Native Indians is radically contradictory to the teachings of Christ. That's very, very important. It is radically inconsistent with the message of the New Testament. But ISIS terrorists, for example, whenever they do terror, they are consistent with their religion. That's the very important difference. So the Pope is bringing this moral relativism, moral equivalence. And by doing that, he is doing a very mischief to one billion Catholics and also because he is head of the state millions of people are listening to him and he is blindly giving them false advice. That's very important to understand. Now, Catholicism is politicized Christianity. Jesus Christ, when he founded the religion of Christianity, he founded in very spiritual terms. That's another difference you need to see. For example, when Jesus stood before Pilate, who was going to execute him, Pilate, 
who was a Roman prefect. At that time, he was ruling Judea. And Jesus was in his trial. And Jesus said, I am the king. And Pilate said, if you are king, where are your soldiers? Jesus says, well, I am the king, but my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom is of this world, my soldiers would come and fight for me. But my kingdom is not of this world. So Jesus also spoke in military terms. But if you look at his message, it's a spiritual message. That's why Jesus never took a sword and killed people, never did any violence to any human beings. Even all the apostles, the 12 apostles were martyred. They became martyrs. So Jesus gave that separation of church and state. He said, render unto Caesar what is due for Caesar, render unto God what is due for God. There is a clear separation of church and state from Jesus himself. And Catholicism didn't follow that. They clubbed together. Pope is a religious figure and he is also a political figure. Just like Ayatollah Khomeini. Ayatollah Khomeini is supreme leader of Iran and he is also a Muslim cleric. So Christianity politicized became Catholicism and Pope is like Ayatollah Khomeini representing Islam. But in Islam, that is what proposed by Muhammad. Muhammad did not see the difference between church and the state. Muhammad said Caesar and God are one. That's why if you go to Saudi Arabia, religion plays a prominent role in bureaucracy, in constitution. If you go to Pakistan, if you blaspheme the prophet, death penalty will follow you. Iraq, Iran, Syria, Lebanon, Egypt, in all these countries, even Turkey, which was started by Kemal Ataturk as a secular nation, now very heavily politicized and Islamicized. Why? Because Islam sees no difference between church and the state. Christianity sees that. Catholicism does not see difference between church and state. It always went to grab the power. When Constantine became a Christian, this Roman emperor, he made this an imperial institution. So Christian church became an imperial institution and continued as Catholicism. So, in that respect, Catholicism is like Islam, but that's not Christianity. So, number one, remember that Jesus, he saw the difference between church and the state. He separated church and state. He separated Caesar and state. Muhammad did not do that. Muhammad said, there is no separation between church and state. So, that is the reason that Muslim radicals always want to impose political power on the world. That's a caliphate. The violence done by ISIS is done by caliphate, a kingdom of Allah in this world. So the Catholics killing girlfriends, they have only passion. A Catholic kills his girlfriend because he's so passionate about her. Or if he kills his friend, he is angry at him or her. So these are individual murders without any political agenda. ISIS murders are not like that. ISIS has a political agenda. They kill people not because of, of, uh, uh, not because of uh, jealousy or passion. They don't even know their victims. They kill in the name of that political Islam, that we want to conquer you, we want to establish our kingdom in the name of Allah. We want to establish that caliphate. Caliphate was started by Muhammad and then his caliphs like Abu Bakr, Umar and Uthman, they were waging wars with Islamic armies and they established a caliphate. And then there were these Umayyads, who 
who ruled the caliphate with Damascus as the center. And then there was this Abbasid empire that ruled the caliphate with Baghdad as the center. Then, then there are Mamluks in Cairo and then there was a, 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 these uh, uh, Ottomans with Constantinople as the center and the Ottoman Empire that uh, ruled most of this uh, Asia, Middle East and uh, almost to the Constantinople. So what did Ottomans do? Ottomans did, they said this is caliphate. We are both political figures and religious figures. And we are going to conquer the world. And they attacked Constantinople so many times, ultimately destroyed it in 1453 and made it as Istanbul. And they never stopped. They were attacking Vienna, they were attacking Spain and Europe, not only Europe, see Asia. They attacked Asia, Africa, all these countries to bring that caliphate. So you need to understand that caliphate is an entirely different concept. You don't bring that and compare that to some murders done by Catholics or Muslims or Hindus and say it's all the same. So this Pope Francis is becoming a useful idiot to these radicals, Muslim terrorists. And uh, he is talking like a complete idiot. I mean, I, I sometimes I, under, I don't understand why this idiot even became the Pope. So people should recognize that very, very well. And his comments are foolish, but always see the difference. There is a difference between caliphate and a regular violence. I mean, all violence is bad. All violence is bad. We should not ever hurt anybody. That's what Jesus preached. Jesus said, if somebody hit you on your left cheek, turn the right cheek. If somebody hit you on the right cheek, turn the left cheek. Like that. Jesus preached a message of peace. And if we trust in Jesus, Actually, Jesus is the one who gave eternal life. He promised eternal life. He said, you trust in me and you follow me. The more we follow Jesus, the more nonviolent we become. That's very important to recognize. So when Pope compares these Catholics and this, that's very important. A Catholic is acting in contradiction to the teachings of Christ when he commits violence. So the more you follow Jesus, the less violent you become. Hope this distinction will help you. Always please feel free to comment on my comments and we can have a discussion. Thank you.